to chain shut the doors of the Republican National Committee headquarters <laughs> in um, 1980. Uh, and Mary Hartzler's husband um, had advanced degrees in physics and all this kind of stuff in engineering. So he did research on locks and chains and he found these that were used nine pounds total that were recommended by uh, Consumers Report for securing your yacht <laughs> or your motorcycle. Yeah, I know. You are serious. So we uh, chain shut the gates of the uh, Republican National Committee headquarters. That's a very long, exciting story. Uh, and uh, it, in uh, trying to stop us, it was a big brass surrounded door with a piece of glass. In trying to stop us, one of the guards had broken the glass. So it was all in shards. Uh, by the time the police pulled up and took a look at these chains, and well, they pulled out this puny little chain cutter. And, <laughs> and they, they took a look at these chains, and um, no, some people, <laughs> some people who were far away, watched the mouth of the policeman with the puny chains <laughs> and thought he said. Hell no. <laughs> the people who were closer swear he said, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they couldn't cut us down. And I, actually, I wasn't there. It was terrible. I missed it. But it was a long planned family vacation. I just egged everybody else on. Um, so, but I got the play by play. Mm -hmm. they, they couldn't cut people down, so they decided that they would let them stay. So they stayed all day and they were able to unchain themselves and go to the bathroom and come back and bring them sodas and things like that. But the Republicans couldn't get in and out, you know. They would have to like crawl through this broken glass door. <laughs> so they started singing to them, go in and out the windows, go in and out the windows. Go in and out the windows till you pass the ERA. Oh. <laughs>